Huh? Emilio, British champion, NFPB. Try and put that into words for us. Um, I'm over the moon. I, this is the first time I've ever stepped inside an indoor stadium, so I've never run on one before. I've never been inside one, so I didn't know what to expect. Um, I'm also coming away from quite a lot of cause country training, so <laughs> my speed work isn't quite there, to say the least. And just, you know, to come into a race with a lot of girls who have had experience before, I was really excited to see how I'd fare. Um, and it's nice to know what kind of shape I'm in at this time of the season, but I haven't done much track work yet so it's exciting just to give it a go and I think it went pretty well so I'm happy. So you know first time indoors you do something like that will you be staying indoors? I'd like to um, I'm having a meeting with my coach probably tomorrow to see um, I have no idea I think I'd really like to work my speed work I think it's evident that it's there's something there but I haven't quite like <laughs> progressed it enough yet um, so I'd really like to work on my, my track work because it's all about the summer for me um, obviously I love cross country and I've always been a cross country girl but I'm um, I think I'm getting to a stage where I, you know, I definitely do that for strength work, but I'd like to move away and experiment with other things now. So this is why I decided this for the first time, and because um, it went well, I'm, I'm kind of keen to give it another go. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. You've got the gold medal around your neck, and you've got the bouquet of flowers that are there. But I'm guessing you must have really wanted to catch Sarah Tracy, only four tenths of a second, four hundredths of a second actually. Off her. Yeah, I can't believe it. Um, I, I knew I have a strong finish. I just, I leading the whole race pretty much I didn't switch off but I wasn't quite on it when she passed me I think that's the thing with indoor track and that's what I wanted to learn is that kind of being switched on a bit more so it helps for outdoor track running um, and as soon as she passed me I knew I had a lot of work to do but I felt strong it's just that I haven't done enough I think track work to really propel myself there but I'm happy to have had the finish I had and being that close feels nearly like a win to me very nearly <laughs> so yeah I'm happy. So what have you been doing tra in training to produce times like that then? I uh, pretty much still cause country work, which is why I was kind of nervous today. I didn't know how I'd run. Um, pretty much every session's been cross country, apart from I've done about four track sessions since the beginning of the year, and they've been on my own. So even then, I haven't been entirely sure how I'd fare. Um, so it's exciting, and I definitely want to do more. I just, I definitely wanted the win today, but I'm happy that from what I've done track-wise, that I've put in that performance, but I definitely think I should be in sub nine minute shape, so that's what I'm gonna aim for, hopefully. Okay, so after breaking your PB in 3000, what's, what's next for you? What do you, what, what do you wanna do in terms of the season? Um, I have a meeting with my coach tomorrow, so I'm not entirely sure. I've entered actually for the National Cross next weekend, which is 8K, which is slightly different to an indoor three, so I'm not sure. Um, if I can get myself in an indoor race, it'd be fantastic, because now I'm on a roll, I kind of feel I should keep going with that and, and keep progressing, but um, I have to see what the coach says. I, I'm not sure, we have to see what he says, I'm afraid. Still down to the good job, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, thank you very much, and um, very you. well done. Cheers, thank yeah, you. Cheers.